Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Mark. And we are having an adventure in the Pyrenees! So we've arrived at our campsite in Bagnoles, which is just north of Girona, and um, we're having a little bit of an issue with the pitch. <laughs> it's in a very shaded area, which actually it's what 28 degrees here. So we think we're going to be glad of that. But I'll just show you that the pit. It's pitch three, two, one. So three, two, one. There. Three, two, one, here. So we've driven in up that way. You're going to get the chocks out. You're going to happy to stay side on. Yeah? Okay, cool. Let's get set up then. So after a quick run to reception, um, I've got us to change pictures because I want happy there. So. We're now 319. It's right on the end. Much happier with that. Much happier. The beautiful Banyoles Lake. And the sun is starting to set behind the mountains. Did you have a nice dinner, babe? It was very nice. <laughs> but I've ate too much. You ordered two protect brothers, and you should have only had one. We went a little bit mad. And we had chicken fingers, like little witchy fingers. <laughs> On our first night in Spain, and we just ordered way too much tapas. But it was all very, very nice. Now we're walking back to the campsite. And just gonna chill out. Look at the ferry for a minute. Look at the ferry. Look at the ferry. Beautiful.
to try and get a photo. Might be the best time you can get it, it's yeah. actually a barrier. Yeah, by that car. We were making our way towards Castel Folli de la Roca and I wanted a photograph so we stopped on this verge and the man cutting his grass <laughs> offered to take a photograph of us in his garden. This is just one of those big wow moments. This is Castel Folli de la Roca. And we're going to go in here for a coffee, but how amazing does that place look? Oh, isn't it lovely? I'd seen photos of this little town on the internet and it took me ages to find out where it was and then realised it's quite near to Banyolis, so we were definitely going to cycle here. It's built on a basalt crag which is formed by overlaying flows of lava and it's 50 meters high. miles into this ride and it's mostly been end roads main roads isn't it sort of following the motorway but um, we're hoping once we get to a lot that we'll be able to find some of e -roads. the some, e -roads, some country roads Stopped at Santa Pau for some lunch. And we're having bocadillo de jambon. See? Mm -hmm. Dos bocadillo de jambon. And we're just waiting for ensalada. See? Sí. Oh, muchas gracias. Salad. <laughs> and the salad has got strawberries in it, and a cherry, and olives, and some walnuts.
like these roads more. Vamos! And a little square, little Plaza Mayor and Banoles, and it is now beer time. Is that right? Twenty past four in English because I can't think how to say it in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Why not? We're on holiday. We've done um, like a 40 mile cycle ride today and then we got back to the campsite and then we did a loop of the lake which is about four miles and now we're trying to find a supermarket. Supermarket? Supermarket. Supermarket. Uh, para leche y pan. Um, but at the moment we can't find one but we think it's probably one just around the corner. Don't know. And then we'll see whether we're going to cook at Indy or whether we're going to go for a little walk and find some more tapas. What do you fancy? Can we come back here? I don't know how far it was to walk. You want to cycle back here? We could cycle back here. Pancakes. Thank you, thank you. Like if I keep packing luggage. Uh, my, my Spanish is a little bit rusty. A bit rusty, but we're not doing too bad, are we? Good morning. Good morning. So, this morning we are just going to go for a walk around the lake. Um, it's a really nice place to go for a walk, a run, a cycle. It's all quite accessible. How far is it? I think it's about four miles. Oh, excellent. Because we did have a little cycle around it. Yeah, we've been around this a little bit already. Yeah. Yesterday, so, so um, but yeah, I think it's four miles round. So yeah. we will see. Yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we've cycled to Banyolas quite a few times from Girona, and I've always wanted to cycle around the lake and walk around the lake. So I'm really glad that we got to stay nearby and do both. Hi, oh, look. It's like a little baby one, look. <laughs> Walking on the water lily. What do you think they are? Little boat houses. Loads of them all around the lake. Banyolas was the venue for the rowing events in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. Quite quiet 
like this side, isn't it? It's kind of shady, isn't it? Yeah. It's hardly anybody over here. So a little bit of the walk comes out on by the road, doesn't it? Yeah. But what lovely views of some nice fields and hills. It's a sight to Does the bridge go anywhere? No. no. <laughs> okay, I'll turn around. Ooh. Back out this way. Alright, we're back at the campsite. <laughs> the walk was just over four miles. So, pretty spot on. And we're back. Don't think our washing dried yet. Too bad. It's much cooler here, isn't it? <laughs> so it's, it's almost dry. Yeah. I'm it I don't know, we'll have to get it in though, because we've got to pack up and move on. Mark's just been into the reception area and picked up a few maps, and this is one of them, which is the um, tour around the Estani de Bagnolo. So it takes you all the way around the lake and a little bit more. And we weren't sure when we were walking there earlier what the little houses were. We weren't sure if they were like boating houses, but they're actually refurbished fishing houses. They're squarers. There's quite a few all the way up this side of the lake. When you get to um, here on the walk, Club Natathio Bagnoles, you have to walk a little bit into the town because um, that's the big like sports recreation place where they do lots of rowing, etc. So we're leaving Bagnolas behind us and moving to our next destination, which we're super excited about. Aren't we both? We are. We are, absolutely. And um, we've had a lovely couple of days here, cycling and walking and eating tapas. We hope you've enjoyed coming along with us and enjoyed a little bit of Spain that we really, really like. If you have, then please hit subscribe, and press the like button and ring the bell for future notifications. And we will see you very, very soon.